going to walk through creating a Sketchbox account, logging in, and give a basic overview of the interface. So we'll go to slipstream.tools slash demo to get to Sketchbox. Down here we'll click create an account. Pick a username and password. Now as you're typing your password, you'll see some instructions appear at the bottom of the screen. Once you've met the requirements, those instructions go away. Same thing when you put in your uh, password again to verify, it will tell you if that doesn't match. Once you got it correct, that warning goes away. You can use the invite code substream demo and then enter your email address. We'll accept the license agreement. Click the button for a verification code. This should come pretty quickly to your email. It'll be a six digit number. You may need to check your spam folder if you don't see it right away. Put in that code and verify. Now we can go back and sign in. All right, now that we're signed in, we can get an overview of the interface here. Uh, across the top, there's six different tabs. These are the main aspects of your Sketchbox model, where you can change all the different parameters of the building or buildings that you're looking at. Uh, on the Project tab, a couple of things to note here. Uh, whatever you put in for project name is going to affect the overall project. So if we change this to example hotel, for instance, you see it changes the tab title. Uh, and the title of the project at the top of the screen here. Uh, you may have also noticed when there was nothing in that box, it turned red. That's a warning that you need to change that entry. Uh, and that'll also happen on numeric values to warn you if the value you've entered is invalid. You'll also notice that some of the text is black and some is blue. Any of these blue values are um, some default values that you can uh, return to if you change them to a different value. So for instance, if we put in a different price of electricity, you see the text turns black uh, and an icon to reset that back to the default value will pop up. Now on the design tab at the top, you'll notice that there's the option to select between office and site. Uh, site will always appear here. Office depends on the building shells that you have. In this case, we have a single office shell. If we were to change that to a hotel, you see that the name there changes, or we can put in the our own hotel. Or sorry, our own name for that. And if we add additional set shells, you see that those off also appear as options. Uh, now those choices are going to be consistent anywhere that it's relevant in the other tab. So for instance, on the baseline tab, you see that those same three options appear. Uh, and by going back and forth between the different shells, I can modify different parts of the model. Now we'll go back to the project tab. One last part of the interface to look at is these icons in the upper right hand corner. First is the help icon. Not much there right now, but we will have a forum and some documentation that is linked here as well in the future. So pay attention for that. Next is the save icon. Uh, there's two options here. First, there's cloud storage included with Sketchbox, so we can save our project directly this way. Uh, let's say we were working on another project as well. We changed something about it, gave it a different name. We're going to save that one too, and you'll see why in a second. This icon in the bottom right corner here allows you to download the configuration file to your computer. That's saved as a JSON file, which you can view with any text editor. Um, this would allow you to save to share the file with a coworker, send it to another computer, uh, something like that. The next icon over is to open a saved project. So again, we get the same two options here. Uh, we can open the only project we have saved, or we can upload a file from our computer. And you'll see that if I save this one to the cloud storage, and go to open, I now have those two projects to choose from.
And the last icon is to log out of Sketchbox.